I'm Jackie Edwards and I'm with Agriculture Victoria and I'm the research leader of the plant pathology team here and also I'm leading the um, new almond integrated disease management program. We're leading the second component, the second large um, initiative of the almond industry, whereas Paul is leading a project that's concentrating on pest management, with our project is concentrating on disease management. Now we'll be working closely together, we'll be utilising each other's resources where we can, we'll be using the same field sites wherever we can. There's a stakeholder reference group. Uh, which is made up of um, industry leaders and that reference group is over overarching both of our programs, the pest program and the disease program. We meet regularly, it was going to be six monthly, now it's quarterly, um, where we can give industry updates of what we're doing and industry can feed back into our program so that we can tailor it for what the Australian industry wants. Our program is going to really be putting the foundations together for effective integrated disease management for the almond industry. Not much has been done in this space before, particularly in Australia. There's been small projects on small industry issues, but this is a large program that's going to be looking industry-wide to determine what are the major diseases of economic impact for the Australian industry and we'll also be looking at ways of understanding how those diseases behave, what causes them, what factors drive them, and ways that they can be managed. The main diseases that industry have identified to date are a disease called hull rot, which causes a shriveling up of the nuts, a dieback of the twigs through toxin production, and the other disease that's becoming more prevalent now that the orchards are becoming a bit older is trunk disease complex. And these are diseases that impact the wood and cause death of limbs and dieback of trees. So in the case of the disease hull rot, very little is known about it. The symptoms can be confused with other things, so it's identifying what really is hull rot and what's not hull rot. There's a number of different pathogens that are thought to cause the disease. In California, for example, there's three different pathogens that they've suggested cause the disease. We want to know, do we have those same three pathogens here or do we have different ones? So although there's knowledge known in other countries, particularly California, about, about hull rot, how much of that is applicable to the Australian situation? Another disease that industry um, have reported as being becoming more and more of a concern as the orchards are maturing and getting older is um, trunk diseases. Uh, this is, uh, these are pathogens that get in through pruning wounds and um, other wounds in, in, the, in the wood of the tree and cause a disease in the wood of the tree, um, ultimately causing limbs to die and the whole tree to die in the, in the long run. Another really exciting component of it is the interest we've had from industry. People already have been contacting us and telling us what they're trialling on their own um, farms and offering us opportunities to be involved with that and to monitor what they're doing, which of course we will be taking advantage of. The starting point for this is we don't want to be reinventing the wheel. We want to know what's, what's already happening around the world and what's world's best practice. So team members will be going across to California to visit the researchers over there to see the situation, to have a look at their research and what they're doing so that we can bring back the best that they have to offer here to Australia and incorporate it into our research programs. Um, there's three major components to the program. Um, one thing we'll be doing is industry-wide disease surveys. These are going to take place across South Australia, New South Wales and Victoria. They'll be extensive and going over three years as well so that we cover as many environmental conditions as we can so that we capture all the diseases that are currently out there impacting the Australian almond industry. Uh, we'll also be going at different times of the year again so that we can make sure we pick up the different diseases. Um, at the end of this three years we're hoping that we understand what are the major diseases in the industry and whether there's regional differences as well. The phase, phase two, I guess, of the project is that there will be um, intensive research into both the diseases hull rot and trunk diseases. Um, we'll be looking at the etiology, that is understanding what are the pathogens that are causing these diseases in Australian almond orchards, and the epidemiology, that's understanding how disease develops, where does the pathogen overwinter, what are the weather conditions or the factors that drive disease so that it, it's a bad disease one year 
year or it's not, it's, a, it's hardly seen the following year. So once we can understand those things about what pathogens are and what drives them, then we can really concentrate on where are the critical con control points in this? How can we break their cycle? How can we impact these pathogens and stop them from causing diseases? And so a lot of the research too will be around different control measures that are being used. And they might be cultural controls like irrigation, nutrition changes. They might be chemical options as well. In the second half of the, of the five-year program, we'll be really concentrating on consolidating all this information that we've got from our research and from the disease surveys and from overseas into management guidelines that can be um, delivered to growers so that you can understand how to manage the diseases yourself, to understand what the risk factors are and do what you can to mitigate those risk factors. As a team, we're very excited to be working on this. It's a fairly new area, as I mentioned before. Not much is known, particularly in the Australian context, and that is always really exciting for researchers to get involved with.